Um, we're happy. Um, we obviously want to be at the top, um, but like I said, um, we're happy where we are at the minute. I think we've just got to um, straight now. We've put ourselves in a good position. Last season we we didn't really put. We were in a difficult position in having to to try and work wonders towards the end, which we nearly done. But we're strong finishers, and previous seasons have showed that that we finished the season strong. So. We just had to put ourselves in a position and we've done that. We've put ourselves in a good position at the minute where we just need to strike now and we've got more than half the season left. So, like I said, we've just got to take each game as it comes, but we're happy, but we could be, we want to be number one and that's what we're going for. So, we're not as happy as we could be, but we're happy where we are at the minute and it's about capitalising now. Where do you think you're stronger this year than perhaps you were last year? Um, I think just games that have been banana skins and more dog fights and not the natural way we want to play I think we're a lot better at that we've got um, a bit of everything about us now we've got if we need to roll our sleeves up and fight we've got that if we want to get the ball down and play we can do that as well and I think last season we came unstuck going away to places where it was a fight really and we we didn't we tried, but we just didn't have the tools in the in the bag to deal with it, and I think we've got that this season. The two top scorers of the club are, are Windass and, and Delebashiru. You're third with Smith and Gregory. What does it say about the team that the midfield is leading the way on the goal front, do you think? Um, it just shows that we've got goals from all over the pitch at the minute. Um, we're a free-flowing team that like to get forward and get... Um, bodies in the box and we like to shoot from distance which a lot of the goals have, have come from this season so we can score all types of goals we can score from crosses long range goals so it just shows that we've got a good mix and um, you probably want your strikers to be on double figures which you want but if everybody's chipping in it's just as it's just as effective as having a striker that's scoring 15 goals by now um, like I said, I think we've got loads of people on five, six goals, so it's added, it's all adding up, and that's why I think we're one of the highest scorers in the league. Are you enjoying this season? Can you enjoy a season when there's there's so much at stake? You know, you're, you're obviously really eager to get Sheffield Wednesday promoted, automatically promoted this year. But can you enjoy it as it goes along with the sort of the, I suppose the personal pressure and the team pressure to, to make sure you get to where you want to be? I don't think you enjoy it as the season goes along. I think it's more towards the end, um, like you said, it's it's business and you need to keep um, you need to keep focused. So you should it'll probably be something that we look back at when we're finished and say we should have enjoyed a bit more when we were doing it. But you can't because it's it, like you said the pressure it's on and and what's at stake. You um, you're always got a, a serious head on and something that you probably should do more and um, enjoy, but. Um, I wouldn't say I enjoy it. I, I love playing football and I love winning. Um, that's what I love. But enjoying it, probably, you, you, it's it's too serious to enjoy it. To be honest. What do you enjoy most about being a footballer? Winning. Um, I just love winning. Uh, whether it's football or anything, really pull at the training ground. I just like winning, and um, that's when I'm most happiest. Is when I get home after a a victory at the weekend and you go back to your family and you, you feel that's when you sit back and you, 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 it just makes the night and the whole weekend a lot, lot better. Who's best at pool in the squad? Me. Honestly? Yep, me or I'd say second seed probably Will Volks or David Stockdale. Fizz plays all the time, but he's just the whipping boy. He's always on the table. He's like loser stays on for him. Um, he just loses all the time, but he's getting better because he's played about a thousand matches already this season. So he's getting a little bit better, but he's he's the whipping boy. It's quite a good standard to be honest. Um, but I think it'd be me, probably Stocky and then Volksy.